13. So this is going to be another general love reading for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, also Venus. Um, this is going to be looking into um, two possible love options that you have and which one may be best for you to choose if you're stuck at a crossroads. It also can um, resonate for those of you who have one love have one love option, but are contemplating just kind of being single or going out and maybe trying to find other options. Um, if you have more than two options, uh, I don't know. You might have to cross watch um, the person or Zodiac or whatever and see if maybe that helps provide you with some insight as well. So... All right, but please keep in mind that this is general energy, so it may or may not resonate for you. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can check the description box below. Thank you to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear from you all. Also, if anyone is interested in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insight. Okay, so heavy energy for both of these people that you're dealing with, Pisces. Um, let's see. Let me see. So one here we have the sun card and the other one we have the full card. So let's see. One could be a Leo and one could be an Aries or an Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Sun card for this one. We have the Death card and we have the Magician card. Could be a Virgo, Gemini, or Scorpio as well. We have the Temperance card and the Queen of Swords. So it could be a Sagittarius. And we have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this... Um, I'm kind of getting for a lot of you, this is someone that you already have something established with, or um, maybe you had something established with them. There was a separation and now they're coming back kind of thing. Um, or it could be a thing where you kind of just drift in and out of this person's life. Um, let's see, why is the Queen of Swords here? We have the King of Swords. So there's a mate here, but it's something about time. I feel like this person wants to take things slow. Um, I feel like this person could be going through a transformation as well in their life if this is not someone new or if this is someone new. Um, but I feel like they're going through some sort of awakening, some sort of transformation, some sort of new birth. Um, after going through something and I think they're figuring out or um, coming into the energy of figuring out that they can manifest certain things and make certain things happen but I feel as far as you um, they're trying to think more logical they're trying to um, just have that time to be able to establish um, like the understanding of you in multiple different areas. I feel like this person wants to get comfortable with your emotions and you get comfortable with their emotions. And just, I feel like this person wants to feel stable in this. Um, let's see, why is the magician card here? But I feel like this person makes you happy. One clarifier for the magician card. 
We have the Eight of Pentacles in reversed. That's a good card here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse as well. I feel like this person wishes to move on with you, but there's a thing about you having to wait for them because, like I said, I feel like they just came out of some sort of transformation and they're trying to manifest and bring about certain things within their lives. And I feel like they want to get stable within their selves first. Um, but I think that they made up their mind about you. I think that they see you as... Um, I just feel like they're not confused. It's not a thing about, oh, I don't know what to do about this Pisces. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed? Okay, yep, yeah, see? We got the four of pentacles and the three of wands. So I think with this particular person, it's a thing about them not being able to move too fast and to being something with you. I feel like it's something that they long for and they wish for. And I feel like you both make each other happy. But I feel like this person is going through a transformation. It could also be a thing too that this you, you're something. Um, I feel like you've had a huge impact on this person because all of these major arcanas. I think you're helping them. Um, get through something and I feel like they feel like right now they can't give you um, maybe what you, you've given them or what you are giving them but it's something that they intend to do I feel like in the past it's just a thing right now with the three of wands and the four of pentacles of them getting back stable getting their finances possibly together um, maybe they just got out of a relationship and they're trying to figure out how to do things on their own again something like that so let's see what your advice is about this particular person. You know what? I'm not even going to use these cards for that. I'm going to use these. Hmm. What is the actual answer for this person? Okay, so we got romance and listen to your intuition. Okay, so this is a pretty good indicator, whoever this is. Um... I feel like it's just a thing about having to wait. So this person here, we have the full card. We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. We have the Hangman in reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Cups and the Tower card in reverse. So off bat, I get a definite no. I feel like this is indicating to you with this full card that you need to let this person go. I feel like um, this may be something that's fresh and new for a lot of you. Something that was just sexually based. Or this person could be coming at you wanting those kind of things from you. Like intimacy, um, having sex. Maybe even for some of you, just like hanging out and going for drinks and like flirting and stuff stuff but I feel like this person is trying to charm you into something like possibly a relationship or just offering things that they don't really have intentions in giving I feel like this person intends to um you know kind of stick around with the hangman I feel like they want this to be an ongoing thing but I feel like they want it to be on their terms and when it's convenient for them um I feel like this particular relationship here is going to end up with you having to we have the six of cups see yeah it's like they're gonna go out of communication with you and then want to reconcile and want to like have this whole fling thing again but they don't have intention any intentions in moving forward in any kind of way like i said this could be an aquarius um a pisces an aries a scorpio Yeah, with the tower card here in reversed. I feel like this person is kind of hiding something, whether it just be their intentions or the reason behind their intentions. We have the four of cups in reverse. So I feel like this there's never going to be anything that comes out of this. We also have the two of cups in reverse. So let's see what your angel answer is about this person. Obviously, we already know. So I would say just go with the person that you have to spend a little bit more time on. I'm also going to get your advice in regards to love in general. For those of you who have two love options. We have don't stop. 
So it could be a thing where you're walking away from this person um, or just not really interacting with this person that heavily. And let's see, I'll get one more. I feel like it needs to be a thing where you go and you don't look back. We also have perfect timing. So for whatever that means to some of you, um, there it may even be a thing that there's something fated within this situation with this person where um, something is going to come about that's going to help you to move forward in some kind of way, provide you with some sort of um, divine information or lessons or whatever. Um, or it could be a thing that you're walking away from this person and in the perfect time what you're longing for, what you are longing for from this person will come to you, but maybe just not from this person. So... Let's see what your advice is. This also, if it's a situation, like I said, where you only have one love option, um, but you're dealing with someone, you can see which one of these resonates for the person you're dealing with. Take that advice. And the other option could symbolize um, the new love that's coming in toward you possibly um, in the future. So what is the Pisces love advice? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like it's a big thing of you needing to work with people who actually communicate with you, who actually want something, want to start something with you. Um, I feel like it's important to make sure that whoever you're dealing with, they're very clear on their intentions and that you pick up and pay attention to whether um, you feel as if though those are true intentions. I feel like only work with people who are working with you because there could be a um, you working together and putting things together, but with this being an even number in a six, which is the vibration of love, I feel like you need someone who's willing to go half with you, who's willing to put in work and effort with you. So um, I hope that you all like this series. You can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. You also can book a personal reading with me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.